It's a, it's a pleasure and it's a, actually a good a big luck for, for me to be able to, to reflect on Anna's um, uh, remark that could you arrange something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> because Jack has his instrument uh, brought with him uh, into Denmark uh, with Jane for vacation and um, uh, could you arrange something? And uh, we said, uh, I said, uh, yes, why not? Well, let's uh, make this a special evening and uh, maybe, uh, I'm sure, uh, unforgettable evening. And, uh, and uh, look forward to... Can you feel the pressure? <laughs> <laughs> we, have, we have a saying, no pressure. <laughs> but anyway... Uh, uh, Ironic. <laughs> but I'm not afraid to say that because I, I know that um, uh, you you are what we call you are authentic and you are authentic. in, in uh, folk songs that's uh, what we all are close to and uh, so there's no danger at all. So um, welcome, Jack. It's called serendipity. It's whatever power there is out there drawing us together. 
and I'm really pleased about that. Uh, I, I should tell you uh, that eventually I'll get to the banjo, and we have a banjo uh, courtesy of Benny, who managed to uh, walk into a music shop this morning <laughs> and borrow it. Uh, <laughs> And just about five minutes ago, I broke the string on it. <laughs> but I think I fixed it. So if it all goes wrong later, you know what. <laughs> well, I never had a barrel of money. Never had a ruby red ring. All I ever had was you, baby. To sit and listen to me sing I got the blues The empty pockets blue Well, I never had a barrel of money Never had a big Cadillac All I ever had was you, baby And that's a fact I got the blues The empty pockets blue When will I make the grade? I'm so broke that a dollar bill looks big as a window shade. Well, some say the blues are sorrowful. Some say the blues are sad. When I sing the blues to you, it comes out feeling glad. I got the blues. The empty pockets blue. six or seven years hanging around in Greenwich Village and meeting lots of people whose names you will all know now. The original song is about a bird, the cuckoo, which, uh, which it is said never hollers cuckoo till the fifth day of July, which is absolutely wrong because I've heard the cuckoo in uh, April, uh, even this year. <laughs> so it's just a story. Cuckoo Bird. This is a song that I learned from a, an old singer in 1967 called Clarence Tom Ashley. Oh, the cuckoo, she's a pretty bird, she's 